Hey everyone, welcome back to this little series of prediction videos. This one we will be taking a look at my predictions for the East Division. Now the first thing I want to point out to you is if you've seen my other videos, you might notice the jerseys are arranged a little differently. It's because the Islanders one, that one should be a white jersey there, but I don't have a white Islanders jersey that has a little hook in there that I can hang a different jersey on there. Um, so I kind of had to play around with it a little bit. Definitely annoys me. I hope it doesn't bother you too much. Oh well. So as I mentioned, if you haven't seen my other two prediction videos, I've done the Central Division first and then I did the North Division. Um, those prediction videos are already up, so you can go check those ones out as well. But this is for the East Division. Now, I'm not going to be going into a whole bunch of statistics and records and, you know, doing a deep dive on this. I'm just going to be kind of giving you my general prediction of who's going to win and in how many games. If you want to see those, there's going to be a lot of other great channels that kind of give you great insight and depth into these kind of teams playing against each other. So that's why I'm not doing it. I'm not smart enough. Now I can't do the West uh, Division quite yet. They still have a little bit of hockey to play to kind of figure out seating in that uh, division. So after this, I will probably be doing a top five teams of who I want to win the Stanley Cup and my top five teams who I don't want to win the Stanley Cup. So look out for that one as well. But we'll kind of get started off on the far side between Boston and Washington. So for Boston and Washington, I honestly, I have no idea. I haven't watched a lot of Boston games. Um, and I haven't watched a lot of Washington games either this year. I try to avoid Boston games as much as I can because I don't like listening to Jack Edwards at all. Uh, Yarrow Halak is kind of seemingly been kind of demoted to the third string goalie. So the only real reason to watch Boston is their amazing third jerseys and Pasternak, who I really like. And yeah, other than that, I, I truthfully haven't watched a lot of Boston games. I've probably watched more Washington games, but again, it's usually been against the Rangers and that's pretty much about it. I think I watched a Pittsburgh Washington game, but I don't really remember. It's been a while. So this one, I, I honestly have no clue. Out of all the series so far to predict that I have predicted for the previous videos and the one that I'm going to do in the West when I get, eventually get to that, this one might be the most interesting to me in terms of I have no idea really what's going on. So Boston fans, Washington fans, please feel free to fill me in. But in terms of who I think is going to win, like I said, I'm not you know, too up on this whole series. So I'm just going to kind of go with my gut on who I think is going to win, and it's probably going to annoy at least one side of the fan base. So my official prediction is Washington Capitals. I don't really have a lot of faith in Boston's goaltending right now. I'm a little bit concerned about the blue line. Again, keeping in mind, I really don't know what's going on too much with Boston, to be completely honest, but I, I just like looking on paper, I like Washington better. And... OV, I'm sure, is going to be kind of determined to get at least one more cup before he calls it a career. So I'm going to take Washington in six. All right, so Pittsburgh and the Islanders. Now, this one is pretty interesting. The, they've played before in the playoffs, and you all know I'm not a big Islanders fan. I absolutely hate watching Islanders games, especially when they're at home. Well, really only when they're at home because I hate their uh, home jersey. I, I do like their road and their third jersey, but... Yeah, I don't watch a lot of Islander games just because, like I said, I, I really don't like looking at their home jersey at all. I've watched a lot of Pittsburgh games this year, and I am surprised, even though I shouldn't be, of how good they've been this year. They've had a lot of adversity this year, a lot of injuries, you know, a little bit of turnover in the front office and everything like that, and some, some distractions. But through it all, um, they've still managed to get first overall in this division, which I didn't see coming. We always keep kind of picking them to drop out of the playoffs eventually, and it just doesn't keep happening. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, at, at this point, I, I can't count Pittsburgh out to win the Stanley Cup, but and if they were to win the Cup again, I would not be surprised. I've learned my lesson. Uh, growing up as a Penguins fan, this is kind of what I dreamed of seeing, just, you know, an absolute dynasty of amazingness from the Penguins, and we're getting it now. Uh, I'm no longer really a Pittsburgh fan, but... Man, they are just so good. Uh, Islander fans, feel free to kind of argue and tell me why you think the Islanders are going to win. I know that they have some really great players. I love Barzell. Josh Bailey is one of my favorite players in the NHL. And 
I, I, I just don't see them being able to win. But I would love to hear your guys' opinions as to why they could win. My official prediction is... The official prediction is Pittsburgh in 7. I do think the Islanders will be able to give them a bit of a fight. I think this should be a heck of a series. I'm definitely curious to watch some of it. And... Yeah, I, uh, I just can't cro count Crosby out. He is still proving that he's one of the best players of all time, and he's trying his best to say he's still the best player in the NHL over McDavid, which, you know, got to give him credit for. I got to respect that. And I do think he's going to carry the Penguins, at least to the second round. But that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Really appreciate you watching. Let me know your guys' opinions and thoughts on who's going to advance into the second round, and we'll see who's right. If you guys want, you can check me out on Instagram and Twitter as well. I'll leave a link to those in the description as always. If not, that's completely all right, but I'll see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye. Oh, um, like I said earlier, the West Division will not be able to be released right away. They're still playing, so once that video is up, keep an eye out for that one. But in the meantime, we will kind of focus on, like I said, the next video, which will be the five teams I would love to see win the Stanley Cup and the five teams that I would not want to see win the Stanley Cup. So keep an eye out for that, and we'll see you guys again real soon. Take care. Bye.